Hello everyone, I'm Mike, and welcome back to another DIY tutorial. Today we will be modding the Anpro RGB wireless keyboard. We will be adding two switches, one of them will toggle the battery on and off, and the other toggles the PC connection, allowing you to switch between writing on your computer or your phone without disconnecting your USB cable all the time. As an extra feature, we will also be making the white version of the keyboard a bit more transparent by sending some of the keycaps. For this project you will need a soldering iron, some solder, two switches uh, which you can grab at your local electronics store, tweezers will be extremely useful, small drill or a rotary tool is optional and so is solder flux. After all this work, and even if the keyboard does look nicer, if you're planning on sanding the keycaps, our advice is that it would be better to just buy some transparent keycaps. The sanding was done with the Dremel for quite some hours. It doesn't look even remotely perfect, and there's a chance that you can make a hole while sanding the keycaps. So, unless you're on an extremely tight budget, sanding is a no-no. Let's now jump to the interesting part, installing our two extra switches for some extra functionality. We will begin by removing the keycaps where the screws are located, or just remove all the keycaps and take the chance to also clean the whole keyboard, then remove the screws, Pull out the board and you will see that it's only attached to the battery, which we will now disconnect. For the first switch, the one that uh, will allow us to connect and disconnect from the computer, we need to cut the power feed from the USB port. On the board and on the position we are holding it, the power is the most left pin that comes from the female micro USB port. You will need to desolder that specific pin from the board and solder two separate wires, one connecting to the port and the other one connecting to the USB micro female port. He advised that doing this on the port that comes on the board requires quite a bit of precision using the tweezers. That's how we did it in the beginning, but later we ended up buying a better USB micro port and installing it instead. I'll show you that later in the video. For now let's assume you already have two wires ready to connect to our switch. Let's grab the battery and cut the red wire right in the middle. You are now ready to decide where do you want your switches. We ended up putting them in the back right next to the USB connection for easy access. When it was decided, it was time to drill some holes. Luckily, those switches came with some nuts, making everything easier for us and in the end everything did fit like a glove. As soon as the switches are tight and in place, we can solder each end of the red wires from the battery to one of the switches and the other two wires for the USB to the other switch. If this is somewhat confusing, just check the image that is right now on the screen and it should help you a bit. When you're done, put the board back in place and this is what we have now. Everything seems to be working well and switching the battery on and off works perfectly. So, Let's start putting the keycaps, oh, or wait, uh, hold on, we are going to send them first and then we will put it back. Once again, remember it's just better to buy some keycaps. What we did here was mostly because we wanted to see if we could do it with the keycaps the keyboard came with. The end result was not even close to what we were initially expecting. Uh, yeah, but before we show you the final result, as we mentioned earlier, um, we decided to add a better USB female connection and unfortunately not only our good soldering iron broke and I ended up doing the worst soldering job in my entire life, but we also forgot to record the whole process. Anyway, uh, it's pretty much just desoldering the original one from the board and soldering the new one um, from the exact same place. You can simply google for US pinout and you will find all the information you need. This is how it looks in the end. You can use the left switch to disconnect and connect from the computer. If using the switch will allow you to write on the phone instead of the computer without having to disconnect the USB cable, which is extremely useful. The right switch will simply disconnect the battery so you can have your keyboard on your backpack without getting worried that the battery will uh, discharge just because the random keys are getting pressed. This was it for today, thank you for watching, feel free to like this video if you did find it interesting or useful, and if you would like to get some quite random tech videos, we would love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you next time!